Hey everybody, I'm Ben Eubanks, Principal Analyst at Lighthouse Research and Advisory. We just finished this really interesting research study about recruiting video and how powerful it is. And I'm really excited today to be joined by Maury Hannigan. She's the founder and CEO of SparkStart. They do, they do this recruiting video stuff really well. And uh, she's here to talk to me about some of the best practices for really improving that recruiting video you're using without blowing the budget. Maury, so what's your first tip for employers? The very first and most important thing is keep it short, under 30 seconds. We see people producing these two minute long, three minute long videos that try to tell a, a long story and at the very beginning of a job search, candidates haven't made the decision they want that much information yet. You're trying to pique their interest. You're trying to get them into your process. So once you go over 30 seconds, your viewership drops in half. So short 20, 25 second videos, those are the kind of nuggets that people are willing to commit to, willing to start the process and start to learn. Yeah. And that's like completely ignoring those people that go into that five, 10 minute range. They're trying to tell this long and convoluted story. No one's got the time for that, right? We all have short attention spans. But when you think about it, even from the passive job seeker perspective, they're never going to watch your, your 10 minute video. But if they might be enticed to check out that 20, 30 second video, if it's on social or someone else shares it there where, where they just run across it, yeah. that would be really interesting. I piqued their interest. But again, they're not going to actively seek those things out. So you're going to capture their attention as a passive seeker, exactly. right? Yep. So for tip number two, let's turn back to the data, the research. Our research says that the focus of this, it doesn't need to be the you know, corporate campus tour. It doesn't need to be this generic sort of presentation of what the company is or what it does. It needs to have that hiring manager front and center. Companies actually said in the research that the most influential resource they can put in front of candidates, most influential communication tool is a hiring manager. Yet when we asked them if they're doing it, that was a very low priority for employers. So they know it's important. They're not doing it. What do you think, Maury? Well, it's like the hiring manager is important because a candidate wants to know what's relevant to them. If they're looking at a job, it's what is this job? Is this somebody I want to work for? Are they working on something I'm interested in? So that's really important that you have the hiring manager. Now, it's been tough to do that at scale, but now the technology makes that easy. So you can have the hiring manager as part of each job description and give the candidate the information they want that they'll actually look at and learn something about the job. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about that third point? Third point is show them the work environment. Again, we get back to when a candidate, especially if they're a passive candidate, they want to know kind of what's in it for me. What's good about this job? What's interesting? Is this something I really want to pursue? Do I want to spend my time talking to a recruiter or bothering to fill out an application? So the more you can show them that's relevant, the better off you are. So if you can show them a little bit of the work environment, it'll give them a sense of the culture. Is this formal? Is it informal? Is this corporate? What is it? So don't put your people in a conference room. Don't stand them up against a wall. Show them the kind of environment where someone's going to work. It'll help them envision themselves in the job. And that's really what recruiting is. You want them to envision themselves doing this job and you want to envision them doing it. So it starts that whole process. Yeah, completely. I totally agree with you there. Really, it's we think about this in our personal lives. We want things that are tailored, that are personal, that it feels like it's individualized for us. And why shouldn't we expect that in the job search process too? Why do companies kind of forget that whole concept when it comes to candidates? Yeah. I don't know. I can't, I can't explain that one. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you found this discussion helpful. Some really good actionable tips and advice here. If you're really curious about checking out some more, some more of the research and some of our findings from this, be sure to check out lhra.io slash video study to learn more. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.